And what to the world? I wore Whoa. this. Whoa! <laughs> so that is insane. And, this, and even if you just wear it, it's like blue, pink. Orange, yellow, wow, but but somehow it still looks good together yeah. because it's kind of like Hi everybody Hello. and welcome back to another welcome daily back. dose of happiness miles Philippines Vibrations. In case you guys are new here, I'm Cosi Vanessa. I'm Cosi Fernando. And this is Happy Reactions. Yes, today we're gonna be reacting to the second part of the second part of the closet tour of Heart Evangelista showing the amazing clothes that you need to see. Yes, she's so, she was showing her wallets in the previous video that we reacted Can to. Can click on here, I'm gonna link it. And she's gonna show now as well more clothes and per perfume. So yeah. I'm and really watches. curious. What, watches, as watches, as well? watches as well? I'm not sure. But let's find out right now. If you guys feel like recommending a video to us to react on, there are two things you gotta do. Subscribe, leave a comment down below or follow us on these socials. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and at Happiness Crossy. And let's get into it. Isa Talawang Talawang Maximula Natayo. Yes. So, guys, make sure to follow me on my new YouTube channel, which is gonna be my musician, my, my singing YouTube channel. I also have a TikTok for that. The name is Vanessa Konopka. And also, um, we will link it here in the pinned comment, so you guys can just scroll down to the pinned comment and click on it right Go away. Go subscribe, she's an amazing singer, and you would, you would definitely would know. But I think a lot of you already saw Vanessa singing. I'm also gonna uh, cover the Tagalog songs. Buwan song we have in our YouTube channel. You can scroll in our playlist there. It's somewhere around there. Buwan. Really good. You guys need to check it out. Let's get into the video. It's really useful for me to have, you know. All yeah, she was talking about the Philippine Philippine Anna. Blouse or wear it with jeans and it matches. Definitely also. A That's really yeah. beautiful. I love this one. Philippine Anna. Show you some maybe <laughs> I built in a bit. Um, so it's a Filipina artist. I also love this locally made um, oh, jacket beautiful. from Filipina. <gasps> oh, so I would so wear that, nice. man. That's beautiful. Women, all the hardworking women that made and the work that went into this. So much That's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And again, you could wear it with jeans. And I love wearing this whenever I travel because. You know, why wouldn't you want to? That is that? really beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of a, of like a jeans, jeans oh um, jacket maybe. Bakit naman ganon? It's beautiful. Comfort. Oh, what was it? It was like a stain. Uh, this is uh, also a favorite brand. This is a French brand. Wow. Manouche. Manouche um, sparkles. Have different dresses. I was supposed to wear this for New Year. And this is, those are colors that are really hard to match. What? Green, blue and red. But look mm. how beautiful she would look inside this dress. Yeah, true. Yeah, and she knows how to match it as yeah. well. She knows how to match it. One of my trips to the eye clinic whenever I have my face clean. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, this one I love. Nothing it. else. Um, I love Th it. That's why I'm literally not wearing anything else anymore <laughs> at the moment, rather than sweatpants, yoga pants, and that's about it. Same. Pajamas. <laughs> and maybe once in a while a jeans, but that's like pen. For me to, to put jeans on, I need to go, I don't know, like somewhere because if I go to the supermarket, I just wear sweatpants, I don't mind. Yeah. Like, no reason for me right now to wear anything else. No <laughs> Nowhere to go at all. <laughs> Hopefully soon again. Because and she loves the really sparkles, nice, right? Quirky, yes, true. chic dresses, yeah. sparkling. a lot of puff sleeves. Her makeup is sparkling, her watch is sparkling, her clothes. Wear that. Um, and I love it because it's attainable fashion. Um, it is a little bit pricey, but it's not something that's impossible to get. And I do love that. And I love and I really respect designers and companies that come up with fashion that are quality, that's affordable, that is something that you can wear over and over. And they don't make it so hard for their clients like me to purchase dresses that you can wear every day. So many clothes that I want to talk about. Dearest. 
Sarah. I cannot live without Sarah. So I love Sarah I love for uh, jeans. Oh, I really like to go jeans shirts. shopping at Sarah. Yeah. I love the shirts. They have Sarah. nice stuff. Yeah. I always found. Uh, when I was stuff working there. in the bank, uh, every week I would used to go there and buy a new shirt. Yeah, they have my nice, nice clothes, things. My everyday clothes, my painting clothes. Um, and my white polo shirts are always from Zara. I, I mean, I do invest on like white polo shirts like Hermes. I also have Dries Van Noten, Chanel. But on a daily basis, I am a self-confessed Zara girl. I'm not sure if Naomi Campbell is going to like that about me, but I don't really care because I do love Zara. And I'm, you know, again, I go back to being practical and um, you can't always have like well, some people do and I do respect them and I do appreciate that they do express themselves every day but I do have a budget and so I yeah. don't mind wearing a Zara top with Chanel jeans like why not? So I love that. Looks beautiful. I love Zara as well. So now let's talk about my Filipinianas. I'm very Filipinianas. I love that word. Filipinianas. So cute. My husband, I always attend events that I need to wear Filipinianas. Every time it was Filipino week in school Oh my god, I wish I kept some of my Filipinianas when I was a little girl. I always loved it. Yeah. It makes me feel so proud that I'm Filipina. And it's just such a statement outfit. Um, I'm going to talk about the very, very first Filipiniana that I wore when I was with my husband. I remember it was Independence Day in New York. And I wore this wow. beautiful oh, wow. Ivar is so um, Filipiniana, pretty. Ivar Aceron. This was so beautiful and I remember I had... I think Filipiniana is because of I this, remember. right? Is this, this ah. style on the, the so, shoulder style thing. I it's thought very Filipin typical. I thought Filipina uh, Filipinianas means that it is made by a Filipina designer. But yeah, you may be right because no, remember when we watched a, that video... No, traditional clothes. Do you remember when we watched that video that was about the styles from... Oh, was that 1980s, I think, yeah. or in, in general, the 90s, the yeah. uh, 19th, I think, 1900s, mm -hmm. and um, they all have these traditional... The, yeah, the Filipinianas. Actually, the shirt that I'm yeah, wearing today a has bit, a little bit as well. Filipinianas. You know, true. it goes a little bit of Filipinianas. <laughs> so is that maybe what it means? Yeah, I think it's the cultural, the traditional um, uh, yeah. clothing. Yeah, the clothing, yeah. Really beautiful. Sell my store property, but I need the cardboard because you put a cardboard inside. A yeah, okay. In sleeves. Makes sense. But yeah. I wore this for the Philippine Independence Day in New York City. I remember I wore it with, uh, it looked so good with the Prada shades. You know how it. Oh, this looks dress like the is shades. beautiful. I forget how you call that collection. But it was so beautiful. And I remember I was being stopped by so many people. I love your dress. And it's just so unique because it's Filipiniana, but it's kind of modern. Super elegant. Oh, uh, that elegant. is so and beautiful. I was wearing my Louboutin yeah. shoes and I remember I had to walk so long to <laughs> that in hurts. New York City, but I didn't mind. Okay. So fun. Oh, so wow. I, very, I could not wear high heels for so long. I had two because at night I, I would had die. to change. So I also got Ivar, who is really, really amazing with Filipinianas. Like his cuts are impeccable. Wow, Just super, dresses. super beautiful. Super and he classic. perfected the Filipiniana. Not so big, not so mm -hmm. small. Classic. That classic. I love the wow. form. You know, this was the set. It does remind me a lot of the video that we watched, that we also reacted on here, um, like also around one year ago, mm -hmm. which was about the traditional clothing. Yeah, yeah it, it looks very traditional, yeah. but also kind of modern. modern so. Yeah, it's a combination. Nice. Some dress that I wore that really I nice. will definitely be wearing again um, whenever it's the beautiful. world relaunches and we have other events. When the world this relaunches. <laughs> That's a good way to I say it. it. And I remember him telling me that if I wanted to reuse it, we could just cut the sleeves. But I said, no, I would like to keep it. Yes, it's exactly. Just, you know, it's beautiful. It's a story. Yeah. And I don't mind collecting Filipinianas. I should actually have another closet or another, not the one closet, that is. Come on. In one year from now, we're gonna react to Heart Evangelista Filipiniana closet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna buy, I'm not gonna buy. Another cabinet just for the Filipinos. <laughs> or I wish I had like a place where I could just put all my Filipinianas for storage because it's just so beautiful. Another one would be I agree. the dress I think they're very I wore again to the sauna. This was for um, wow. The photo shoot. Wow. This is by Markham Garner. Man, the same day beautiful. I wore another one that was more of like a That's suit, a, but also yeah, it's like a suit. Yeah, it's I like a suit. Every time yeah. I go to the sauna, I always made it the point that I would wear white. I am just in love with white. White is definitely my go-to color. My yeah, color. you can see in the background is like a whole section clothes, only yeah. with white. Pure and radiant, and it's really also good because it's like a good filter. 
the sun, the bounce on your face is perfect. <laughs> and the <laughs> very, so nice. very, the most memorable Filipino That's cool. was actually the second time that I attended the sauna. Uh, my first was also white, but the second one I wanted it to be more me. The first one I was just very careful about what people would say and all of that. But at this time, with my relationship with my husband was more of, you know what, you are your, you, are you I am me. Um, don't be so conscious about what people say. Um, so, yun. So, sobrang confident. Hindi na conscious. Then, went to the world. I wore the Joey Samsung. That is insane. Um, this actually goes on top of... Whoa, the that is so incredible. That is so it's cool. It's very, very long. But this is so beautiful. It is so yeah, cool. I do hope that I could put it on a pedestal or yeah. some sort of yeah. Yeah. column so I could put it out because it's definitely an art piece. It is, it is an art piece. Um, and I'm very, very proud of myself because years after... For it's myself, really hard to design this. Yeah, like, yeah. how did, did the designer do well, that? That's, that's so hard because you have to kind of, you know, fit it in that way that it actually stands up like it yeah, holds, yeah, exactly. you know, that's not, that's really hard. Or it again, so fits. I remember like an armor. This, yeah. this was very, very memorable because it was the first time that I kind of reintroduced myself in my husband's world as this is who I am. I am very maarte, I'm very kikai, mabait naman akong tao, so then wana. So um, it was a bit exaggerated, but <laughs> I don't regret having moments like that because I really felt that I was really expressing myself to the fullest. And you know what? You only lived once, and I'm so glad that I did it and I wore this. Shall we move on to the next? Yeah, it's not yet over! <laughs> Chanel, Chanel, hey, Chanel. So the next section is also one of my... Well, I do have <laughs> a few of these sections from... Um, but this is like where I put some of my latest, not the latest, it's a mix of old and new. Chanel and Dior. I realized as I got older that I, again, want to save up for forever pieces, whether that's vintage or brand new. I do have a rule for myself that my husband had to implement lately during the lockdown that I am only allowed to purchase one latest collection or latest season jacket from Chanel <laughs> a year, once a year. She has a rule! <laughs> that is so I Creating good habits. And items <laughs> nice. that's equivalent to one jacket that's all vintage, then go for it. So in short, if you think about it, it's just two brand new Chanel jackets once a year. But that's <laughs> it. I can't go buy a bag, I can't buy anything else. So if you want to buy a bag, you can't buy that jacket. Ganun lang. Basta one item a year na lang ako for the next five years so I can save for my gray days. Okay, so, <laughs> That's so cute. It was a gift to me from a friend. She... Uh, but I mean, when you have so many clothes, it's basically like wearing new things every day. Every day. Because you have so much yeah. to choose from. Yeah, so and it has so many dresses that she's amazing. like, maybe in seven years from now I'm gonna wear it. Yes. So she has like... Yeah. Ears, oh, that's gonna be the year of yes, this dress. Exactly, you know? and, and they do keep alive, you know, because yeah, they are course. so high quality and, you know, such a good material, and she really takes care of them. Yeah. Uh, I think. Didn't she say in the video, in the in the very first part that we reacted to one year ago, that she has an aircon in the closet? To, I think so, yeah. Because yeah. in the Philippines it gets really hot and so humid, humid, so that's though. really dangerous yeah. for clothes. And she said, she also mentioned that I invested into Chanel and stuff. Yes. So I agree that yeah. this kind of clothes, it's kind of an investment. Yeah. You know, like it's definitely gonna lose its value once it leaves the store, but if you hold it for 10 years, you know, it it's gonna get more, more expensive, expensive again, of course. Exactly, because it gets win it's vintage. Get vintage. Yeah. yeah, true. A really, really wonderful friend, she's French, and she gave me this jacket. She was actually part of the Chanel team, and she purchased this jacket, but again, she thought that it was too loud um, and too shocking, but it's a statement piece, and I do have a lot of work that requires a certain look and Beautiful. I definitely really love nice. the jacket. I did not say no. How can you say no to Chanel? This one I got, a vintage store. It's a Chanel Oh, coat. that's a Chanel that dress. Is I can use that's this pretty. many, wow. many times. I love, love that is this. Beautiful. I love the fit. Again, it's very cinched. So this tweed jacket, it actually has like a little tweed button in uh, something that will connect it and make it into a dress. Although currently I am not able to locate it, I just realized that, so now I have a problem. Ah, uh, she lost it! Or can't find it anymore. 
This is, um, I think, from the last season. I really love the cool detail one. on the neck. I love that it gives you that really nice Queen Mary of really Scots. Nice. Just kidding. Feel and Queen Elizabeth type. I love That's that. That's very like, special it color. Like it's also hard to really to match nice it, yeah. And even if you just wear it's it like blue, pink, orange, yellow. Wow, but but somehow it still looks good together yeah. because it's kind of like this washed out kind of um, uh, style. I would say it looks yeah. really. Or it's really nice. foreign jeans. It's just beautiful. To With have. jeans, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's something that I will definitely treasure for life. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I also have the same detail on this jacket, which I also love. Wow! Um, Look at the neck. The, That's I special, I think, for Chanel, isn't it? Mm. This neck. And it's the high neck shop. So many clothes, nowhere to go. Of course, I love Dior, um, especially their jackets. Yes, it, I love the Dior silhouette. White again. I love the fit. White you jacket. You can wear it open or you can wear it as a top. Definitely for every pieces. I would love to say that I wish I could do major all couture, but all couture all the way, but I'm just not the type of person. I've said it many, many times. I am the girl with the budget and <laughs> I'm smart. I think about the future. She's I cute. Sure whenever I buy something, it is just. She's bad. really cute. Yeah. She really keeps like. Because I don't have to keep buying. I'm not gonna buy that much. <laughs> and then we use it a few times, and you can't use it anymore because the quality is just different. So I do make sure to save up for really quality and for every pieces. Um, and in in a way, I guess you're also not just a patient helping the world with that. Have you? Section. Mm -hmm. This time I made sure that it's stable. The last time. Oh, oh yeah, cool. she dropped it, right? Oh, it Everything fell. Broke. Oh no. It was on a shelf. Yeah, I remember it was that. Too stable, and it all died. So now yes, I, I have that. it in a really nice place. Um, this one is from Lady Scott. You can search them on Instagram if you do want this stand. I am going to be talking about my favorite perfumes. These are the ones that I really, really love the most, and um, I always have like a spare bottle. So I'm going to talk about my number one. My number one, this is the one that I used for my wedding. This is Pen Halligan's Luna. I just love the scent of, you know, it's very powdery, it's very light. And what I love about Pen Halligan, it lasts you the whole day. So in a way, you know, you're not, it is a bit pricey, but you're not over spraying it. So it I would love to smell that. <laughs> I want to know Me what too. it smells like. <laughs> Me too. I think it smells like flowers. But I, I do agree that usually more expensive perfumes, they last yeah. way longer than Look, uh, the Carolina cheaper. Herrera that I use. It lasts for two days, man, in my yeah. skin. It's yeah, that's crazy. True. It's very, it becomes my yeah. smell. Yeah. Yeah, it's very heavy it's as well. super heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy, yeah. And how, how much does the perfume cost, oh. the bottle? 60 euros, I think. Yeah, 60, 80 euros. 60, 70 euros. But yeah, yeah it lasts for a very yeah. long time, so. I remember I discovered the scent. I was doing a workshop. I was Angel. That's years the old. perfume that this my sister oh, used. Oh really? Oh, I was part of this workshop, and I can remember really, really the good scent perfume. that was just so nice. strong. So yeah. this has that scent. It's a strong, like independent yeah. woman yeah. type of. Thing. Okay. It's also which really sister? Nice if you go Paola. Manu. Oh. Oh. Baguio. Baguio. <laughs> Cold because it's really good for like. Okay. Um, Cold weather. Yeah, okay. It has that strong scent. But That's it's not true, though. I believe that there are perfumes that are more for hot weather and yeah, summer vibes, exactly. and then you have more perfumes that fit to autumn or winter vibes. Yeah. So I feel like summer is usually more like fruity, like tropical, like light, and then winter uh, perfumes are more Stronger, heavy and heavier. strong. Yeah. So strong now. But this is really, really nice. And, it used um, come a in a scent. shape of a star. And I really oh, love okay. perfumes that's mm. unique because oh, it kind of, nice. you know, whenever you spray because perfume of or you yeah. someone, it's that lingering memory that is left behind. Um, so I really, I really love perfume because it really says so much about your personality or it kind of represents your soul in a way if you kind of look at it. That Tova. is deep. Again, this reminds Tova. me of Tova. This no, is the this hardest one. to find. Okay. Um, and thank God, because Green Hills is still there. <laughs> the only place that they sell this is in Green Hills. Okay. When I was really, really young. I used to live in Foster City in San Francisco. And there that was, was her mistake, telling everybody now. Yeah, that they not everyone there. is going to go and buy. <laughs> 
and they would sell Toba there. And the scent just reminds me of my childhood. And for some reason, it reminds me of Ate Rica Paradejo. Because the what? only person that I remember Rick, wearing uh, this was Rica Paradejo. Ah, uh, okay. She was really young, starting out in showbiz. And she would have this in this uh, okay, signature okay. scent. I remember I was doing ASAP and the, the dressing room would always smell like tofu. Because of I do uh, agree that, for example, like having memories, you know, you always connect um, like a, a scent, a perfume scent yeah. with certain memories, you know, yeah, like true. like you do with music, with taste. Yeah, it always reminds you of something. Definitely with perfume smell yeah. as well. I think it's so nice. Atirica Barrio, and I'm sure that she's still wearing this, yeah, but this is my number three. Ah, yeah. yeah. My next one would be yes. Tartan et chocolat. This Chocolate. is the one that I would eat. They also have it in pink. Also very hard to find. Ah. Um, but they do sell this on IG. It's very, very hard to find. I know that they also sell SSI sells this, if I'm not mistaken. You know in Rockwell, in front of C Can you not order it online? Yeah, I think they order it online. would be the best way. Going up to the escalator. They still had this before. I'm not sure anymore, but this is very, very hard to find. This was my perfume when I was um, in grade school. That is so, so cute. <gasps> Another one is a Signorina of Salvatore Ferragamo. Same, well not same, different but same. Powdery, again, it kind of, you know when you want to date someone and you want the person to fall in love with you? <laughs> you end up with that person and you just want to leave a lot of memories behind? This. <laughs> yeah, cute. This. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Mason Kirk John Paris. This one is the Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, also really, really nice. Lasts me the whole day. Um, so you don't really have to get a huge bottle or else, you know, all of your feelings in one bottle. And then if there's an accident, it breaks, it's forever lost. Exactly what happened to me. So I always. Yeah, because it broke, right? Just in case. In the last video. Happens. This is the other one. This is the Gentle Fluidity. Um, this is also really nice. Almost done. Uh, I always feel like it's an achievement when I finish a bottle because sometimes when you have gifts or people send you, know, send you perfumes and you're not able to use it when you spray it, it's old. I feel so sad about that. So I make sure that before I open a bottle or before I use it, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to really use it. They get old? Yeah. The last I thought they're going to last forever. Right? Oh, that's um, super famous. I love it. Yeah. Uh, reminds me of my travels. I do wear this when I travel. This reminds me, for some reason, of New York fashion. Yeah, because this everybody wears it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, and I also love the bottle. Everyone at the yeah. fashion show, yeah. Chanel 05. <laughs> in um, my bathroom downstairs. So when I'm about to sleep, especially when the husband's around, shoot the phone. It's so cute. My last one. Of she wants to smell good for her husband. Yeah, well, for my birthday, I could do that another time. But this one is Nina Ritchie. Um, I always get mine at the airport. <laughs> Airport. This oh, is I know. It's, um, Makes me sad early, as well. <laughs> super fresh, fruity. It's just my bungo. And that is it. My top favorite items. Ah, oh, okay. So <laughs> this video. I was overwhelmed because of all the memories, but I do love sharing my memories and experiences with all of you and share a little bit of my tips. And, really, really cool, know, man. Whatever. I hope love you guys it. enjoyed and enjoyed I enjoy this it. video and learned something from me. And I hope that uh, you Madam Ming Salam. Yeah, thank you so hard, much. Evangelista. It was a really um, nice and video. Anything you want is actually possible. You just have to pray hard, work hard, stay exactly. kind. Exactly. And the universe. Wise words, hard. I'm definitely open to do that. You can comment down below and if there's anything else you want me to do, share it down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been heart. That's it, Pansit. That's, That's it, Pansit. Oh, I, I like that. Pan That's it, right pan -sit. Now. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, that is so interesting. I mean, you know, again, as I said before, she is passionate about the things that she, you know, the perfumes, the wallets, the clothes that she owns. And she doesn't just see it as like bye 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 because she really buys something and she really takes care of it and she keeps it for yeah, years and years wears and it years. And, she uses and it. yeah, it's not like she buys it and then just you know ah, I wore it once or twice and now oh, I'm done every with single it, you know? piece you can she really see that she has a history behind memory. it. She has a memory. Yes, yes. So that's it's a really, really nice thing. Her, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this video and now let's get into the comment of the day.
And the fan of today is Ariella Fabiana. Thank you for recognizing our night market in Rojas here in Davao City. We love you and we support your channel till the end. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. Madam Ming Salama. Thank you to Rojas Market. Oh my god, it was so good. It was so amazing. I, I even remember what we had. We had bangus. Yeah, we had we rice. We had rice with a bangus, yeah. Had dynamite. Um, dynamite, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We had uh, like a milkshake kind of thing. I think it was buko milkshake. I remember yeah. that as well. And we had quick quick, uh, quack, quack. one of our quack, favorites. Quack. Yeah, it's so. And we had also like a chocolate brownie kind of cake. If you guys want to watch that video, you just head straight to Happiness Crossing YouTube channel. We have a whole playlist about our yes. uh, travel <laughs> vlogs in the Philippines, and I cannot wait to come back to the Philippines as soon as possible and create more. And I want to go back to Rojas night. Oh, let's go, man! It's Vera. so so I'm delicious. They have so much stuff there. It's insane. You can. Just eat, 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 eat until you and float. repeat. That's <laughs> oh, amazing. I love it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. It helps you spread positivity yes. and make us a smile. And we see you guys we in the next one. Next one. Maalaming kayo. Magandang gabi. Maalam. Mwah.